Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So this video comes with a very good news. So the good news is that I was finally able to fix High Sierra sleep issues. So this issue is not being fixed from the time High Sierra is released. I don't know about some professionals but there is no fix available on YouTube or Google to fix High Sierra sleep issue. So I was able to fix high cell sleep issue on 10.13.6 which is the latest released version and I hope this will work on any of the update or to high Sierra. I was able to fix this issue by reinstalling high Sierra on a config that I made and I used the 10.13.6 combo or you can say a complete installer of 10.13.6 to fix that and I also used some of the modifications in clever configurator. Let's switch to the screen and let's see how you can get the high Sierra sleep issue fixed. Here I am on my computer and I'm doing a camera recording so I can show you the proper sleep working. So right now this is the system here which I'm using currently. It's a 7 generation Intel i5 7600K and EVGA or Evega GTX 1080 and if I go here let me focus and if I go to about my Mac and right here I hope this mobile is not shaking a lot and right here you can see the system report is here and it's all of it and these are the specs 1080 i5 7600k and if I go here and I click the sleep so the sleep might take a little bit longer than normal Macs so here the uh, monitor just went to sleep and now we are waiting for the system to went sleep and you can see the RAM LED one of my RAM have LED lightning on it which is blinking which is white right here so the other system is currently running and here it went to sleep in about 25 seconds or so and you can still see the RAM is blinking so right now I will not do anything and because it's like a proper sleep and I have an Apple mouse here right here and what I will do is I will press this mouse Ta -da! and it came up and let's see if we get the screen out well so sometimes my what you say monitor is monitor does the crap and it does no boot but right now it does so this is how you fixed high server sleep issues and everything else is working on this Hackintosh and uh, let me go to the what you say oh, iMessages, iMessages is working as well so everything including iMessages is working so let's go to the screen recording and I will show you the config I used to fix high Sierra and the method I used to fix the high Sierra sleep issues so we are on our screen now and now I will show you what you have to do to get the sleep working. So the first thing is first, you need to install Clever Configurator which is the most important part. And the second part is you need to download HiSera 10.13.6 from App Store. And you have to make a new bootable USB drive installer with that. You can use the Unibeast to make that installer and Unibeast 8 is something available which you can use so which 8.3.2 8 I think is the latest one or the latest uh, Unibeast version for High Sierra you can use that and you have to make a UEFI bootable installer for High Sierra and you have to do a fresh install of High Sierra. After installing a fresh install of High Sierra 10.13.6 what you have to do is you have to mount your USB, mount your EFI drive, open this and I hope you know how to do a fresh install of 10.13.6 and everything. If you don't let me know in the comment section below and I will make another video on that as well ASAP. So after mounting that, go to the config. So here is the different patches I did to get my sleep working. First is you have to use the fixed shutdown then this SLE SIM Adweek Slim Sim Adweek you have to use this config to install the 10.13.6 you don't you you don't have to use anything other than this 
and add PNLF fix S3D and fix IntelliJ graphics you have to use system IO you have to use all these generate P state C state I also explained I had explained these in the previous videos as well you have to use these C slave uh, C enables and you have to use halt enabler and the reset address and the reset value is default you don't need to do that in the boot area you have to use kex slash dev slash mode is equals to one dark wake is equals to two never hybrid and skip hibernate timeout these are very important and then the most important is boot x64.efi default loader you have to change the default loader from boot.efi to boot x64.efi so don't forget to change this otherwise the sleep issue won't work so you have to do this and here you can use anything if you are using a uh, 4k monitor I prefer 000 here for CPU I have used C2, C4 and C6 nothing else everything is blank in here you can add Intel graphics and stuff if you're using Intel graphics otherwise you have to inject add clock ID and high current fix ownership is not recommended in disable drivers leave it blank in here you can add uh, you can do whatever you want in graphic section I have nothing else than this IG platform ID inject and then a lows BIOS so uh, changing this as well don't do any difference so this area is kind of a free zone just lo use load VBOS and inject in kernel and kex and patches you have to add these kex if you want to get your USB and drive USB 3.1 working and stuff kernel pa power management Apple Intel CPU power Manage, and Apple RTC is recommended if you're using any generation of Intel CPUs I recommend that that's uh, way better stuff and then in system parameters you have to use Nvidia if you're using Nvidia graphics card Nvidia web and a custom UUID is also recommended and here you can use boot you have to use booto config 0x28 and crc active config so that's all you have to do in clever configure and this is quite a lot of stuff it's not just few stuff and if i go to here and go to config clever and i want to show you text as well so it's way better to have an idea of the text i'm using so these are the text i'm using XHCI 200, whatever green USB inject, Shiki, Realtek, Lulu, Intel, Masai Ethernet, Intel Graphics, HDMI Audio, Fake SMC, Arthurus, and Apple Intel. In other, these are HDMI Audio and whatever green. And in UEFI drivers, I'm using these a lot of drivers, and I would recommend all of you guys to use at least this for your Intel systems and everything else is same themes is your choice tools is your tools are built in so that's all for what you have to do with clover configurator and what you have to do with your system but remember this that you have to use this configuration before you do a fresh install of 10.13.6 of Hisera and after that fresh install your sleep will be working perfectly inshallah so that's it this is the end of the video and i hope you guys liked the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't leave it otherwise if you have any question query please feel free to ask in the comment section below i will be really glad to answer all of the questions i might take some time because of the so many questions that bundle up and i try to find most suitable times to answer all of them and sometimes i don't have answer for all of them but if you want to help me make more such videos and improve and do videos on other uh, objects and other stuff on other subjects, let me know in the comment section below and like, share and subscribe and help me on Patreon. That matters a lot to me. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.